Did you know that the Bank of England owned two slavery plantations in Grenada? And their new exhibition, Slavery and the Bank, highlights some of these facts. The bank acquired these two plantations because the owner defaulted on their loan payments. This meant that the bank acquired all the property, including the 999 slaves. All of their names are kept in this document. 20 years later, in 1790, the bank sold the plantation to a British MP for 100,000, which is equivalent to 15 million today. Here are all of the slaves' names mentioned, and one of them is called Cain, my namesake. When slavery ended, the MP who purchased the property pictured here ended up being rewarded 5.5 million for his 2,000 slaves across Grenada, Guyana and St Lucia. Will Cain's slavery was so long ago, get over it. What's interesting is that his descendants are still alive today, still bearing the same surname, and they still have aristocratic titles. Overall, the exhibition is very informative and this is just one part. Don't even get me started on where all this gold comes from. So make sure you go and check it out if you have time.